guys, it's Manuel from Geekception here. I hope you're doing awesome today. Now, this is the Pocophone F1, a phone that theoretically shouldn't exist. I'm going to take a look at the phone, what comes in the box, and some things I've noticed while using it. Let's begin. <laughs> And welcome back guys. Now, in case you are new here or you've never watched my video before, hi, I'm Emmanuel. Welcome to Geekception. I hope you stick around. If you're a, you know, a subscriber, thank you so much. And welcome back. Now, the Pocophone here launched here in Malaysia last week and I've been using it since launch date and these are some of the things I've noticed. But before that, let's quickly do a quick unboxing. Now, the phone comes in a black box with the only Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi on the front there. Going on to the back and I find the yellow theme and a quick overview of the specification of the F1. Opening up the box and there are a few things that are present in the box. Now those things include a black TPU case I am probably never going to use, USB Type-C cable, fast charger which actually supports quick charge 3.0 and a SIM tray removal tool. Now lastly in the box is the Pocophone F1 which is actually pretty lighter than I thought. Now a quick overview of the specifications include, you know, a top of the line Snapdragon 845 processor, 60 GB of RAM, micro SD card slot and a 4000 mAh battery amongst many other features. Now price wise the Pocophone F1 retails between 1200 and 1400 Malaysian Ringgit with conversions on screen right now. Very very unreal price for what you are getting with the features of the F1. Now on setting up the phone it took approximately five minutes you know to be able to get all my Google accounts and all my applications and everything set up on the F1. And like I said the Pocophone F1 launched here in Malaysia and I've been using it since launch date. Now I've broken it into different categories of things I've noticed about the Pocophone F1. Let's dive into it. And starting off with build quality and it has the polycarbonate build that isn't actually that bad. Now polycarbonate is plastic so which means it is plastic but it is higher quality plastic and not like the cheap feeling one. Also the Pocophone F1 is actually lighter than I thought you know because it has a big battery I sort of expected it to be big but it's not. It's also not glossy but it can potentially scratch so that's something you should definitely look out for. All in all I do not mind the plastic as it is something that they probably had to sacrifice they had to make to keep the price of the phone low. Something Something else I noticed about the Pocophone F1 is that the notch at the top, apart from being big, is also quite long. Compared to other phones that have notches, the F1 is actually not that thin, especially towards the edges and is also quite fat. Also, if you look at the chin, it is pretty big. So this phone, even though it's a like, notch display, big display, it's actually pretty thick when it comes to the bezels. Now moving on to the display and it has a 6.1 inch Full HD Plus display, which has a notch. Now in the notch, there is an IELTS scanner, a speaker and a front camera and with up to 500 nits of brightness I did not have any problems with visibility even in direct sunlight when it came to the, you know the Pocophone F1 and when it comes to display generally I'm pretty pleased while watching videos on the F1 viewing angles is pretty good whether it's you know it's straight on or it's by the side I mean it's an IPS panel after all moving on to audio and you know the Pocophone F1 has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack which is good for people that still love it I don't use it anymore so I really don't mind if it's there or not. Uh, when it comes to speakers, it has a dual speaker system. So it's got one in the speaker grill up top and one bottom of the phone. And I'd say it's a 75-25% split between you know the one on the bottom and the one on the top. Now rather than just you know telling you about the audio quality, I actually you know did a test where you know tested the speakers on the front and anyways check it out. And coming back from that audio test, definitely something I've noticed in my use of the phone is that it can get loud, but not the loudest, most definitely. And also even at loud volumes, it does not have, I would say that much bass. So it sounds very, very teeny and not that pleasing to the ear if I'm really being honest. So when it comes to the speakers, most definitely I'll recommend, you know, uh, Bluetooth or yeah, it's got 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So you can use that as well. Moving on to the user interface and the F1 runs a customized version of MIUI 9.6 at top Android 8.0. 
find one. Now, it also has a launcher, brilliantly named Poco Launcher, that I actually quite like, surprisingly. It categorizes apps according to categories and color. And I especially like the color option so much that it is pretty much how I used to find apps now. I mean, it's really simple in theory, but in practice, wow, I actually pretty like it. One thing I do not like though is that because of just how big the notch is, I cannot really see my notifications and I cannot see my battery percentage. So this is something, I don't know if they can fix it in a software update because it has to do with the notch, but it's something I do not like anyways because I'm used to, you know, seeing my battery percentage at all times. Performance-wise, and this phone has the best of the best processor right now, which is the Snapdragon 845 with 6 gigabytes of RAM, at least with the model that I have here. Now, opening apps were pretty snappy, as well as switching between apps. And something I did notice throughout all my use was that I kept getting crashes on Twitter. I mean, mostly because I use Twitter a lot. And also, for some reason, my wallpaper keeps resetting, which I, I don't know why that keeps happening. Happening? Happening? Overall though, performance has been good and you know, I've been thrilled, especially at this price point. Like how is it this cheap? I do not know. And as someone that likes, you know, Assault 9 Legends a lot, I've been playing it a lot on this uh, phone, the Pocophone F1. And you know, it's a pleasure to say that it ran pretty well. Again, has this to be expected because of, you know, the processor in the phone. Also, I've also played some Shadow Gun Legends as well. And that has ran pretty well as well. Now, something that is really weird is that Asphalt 9 is actually not officially available for this. I had to sideload it, which means like if I go to the store, I couldn't find it there, which is really, really weird. And another thing that is weird is that, yes, this phone has liquid cooling, which if you are keeping, you know, track is something that only appears in very, very expensive phone. So even when I played games for a long period of time on the Pocophone, for F1, I would say on average one hour, two hours, this phone still did not get hot, which is really, really surprising. At least not uncomfortably hot where, you know, I would feel that yes, I've been gaming for a while. So that again is very, very surprising for the Pocophone F1. And for a more traditional test, you know, I loaded up Game Bench and I tested with Asphalt 9 because I really like that game. And, you know, it came in at a constant 30 FPS, which I think is okay. I do not know if it's low or if it's high, as this is the first time I'm using Game Bench. But yes, that is my Game Bench. Now, moving on to the cameras, and this is definitely one of my most favorite features of the Poco Ford F1. Now on the back are dual cameras, one 12 megapixel f1.9 main camera and one 5 megapixel camera for depth sensing as a secondary camera. Now the main camera has a 1.4 micron size which means it should take in a lot of light, same sensor as the Mi 8 and Mi Mix 2S if I'm not mistaken. Going on to the, to the front of the camera and again I don't know how they did it, they put a 20 megapixel camera there with a 1.8 micron size sensor which means it's is large it should theoretically be able to take in a large amount of light and you'll be able to judge for yourself because I'm going to show you some camera samples anyways before that the interface here is a pretty standard Xiaomi interface which means that if you're you know if you've used any Xiaomi uh, phone before it's got you know regu regular features such as portrait mode and beauty mode there also AI mode is here which means that you should be able to take advantage of the scene detection and you know apply uh, several tweaks to it as possible now enough of me talking about the camera you can see on screen right now some of the camera samples that I've taken with the Pocophone F1 and I would say I am really 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 surprised at just how good it is I know that the sensor is good I know that the you know camera is good and everything but it still surprises me how all of this comes in at under 300 400 dollars which is really really mind-blowing really and something I like you know color reproduction you know when it comes to sharpness when it comes to portrait mode edge edge detection all of these things are things that you should not get in a phone that is this price. It's just ridiculous. And yes, it you know fulfills it very, very well. Yo, fam. Yo. Man came back from India. Came back from India with all the goods. But you brother, what did you bring from India, fam? Nah. What is this? Some stuff, man. We have to do some unboxing. Special holy shit, it's heavy, man. Is it like the national national depth of India? <laughs> hey, welcome, man. Welcome, 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 fam, welcome, fam, welcome. You're welcome. Welcome back to the house. All right, so I'm just heading out to go take some photos now. Uh, it's not as completely totally dark, but it is definitely dark. So I'm just trying to, you know, see how it actually performs when it comes to like 
completely or almost completely dark the road is by my side so that's the only light i'm getting but yeah so far so good it actually looks pretty clean not that noisy and i think it's about to rain very very soon but as you can see it's very beautiful here with the gradient very very wallpaper like and yes this is the back camera there so i'm just trying to do some focus a tests here but yes again let me know about the audio as well as the video here and like i said this is the road there and something that this lacks is uh, optical image stabilization but apparently it's supposed to have uh, electronic image stabilization but i do not know how that is until i take it to the computer but yes let me know how you feel for the night camera video test uh, stabilization audio and all of that good stuff all right so just on my veranda now uh just came out of my place uh currently actually shooting the video right now for the poco phone f1 and i'm charging my batteries but yes what do you think about the audio quality as well as the video quality this is a 20 megapixel camera up front here so i'm thinking it that it looks good and that is been in the background there anyways what do you think about the front camera quality let me know now when it comes to battery you know this one has got a 4000 milliampere battery that's right 4000 milliampere same as on the note 9 but yes when it comes to this 4000 milliampere battery and i'm constantly getting between six to eight hours of screen on time which is really crazy when you you know consider the fact that this has you know a snapdragon 845 processor and you know a six gigabytes of ram and all of that so really it's really really crazy at just how good this phone is especially with that you know big battery so definitely i would say this is a all day even two day phone even some other notable features that are present on the poco phone f1 is the dual sim functionality so you can use either a dual sim or you can use one sim card and one sd card slot because yes you can actually upgrade this baby face unlock just like i told you when i was telling you about the notch is present here due to this phone having actual ir sensors now unlike the traditional android way of uh, unlocking the phone this actually uses ir sensors which means that even when i was in pitch blackness like like pitch darkness this phone had no problems whatsoever and you know even bringing it into the day i would say even sometimes i feel the phone unlocks better in complete darkness than in the day which is weird but yes that's just how good it is with face unlock now in conclusion you know bringing all this video to uh, a close sadly because i'm really really excited about this video i think this video took me like three days to shoot anyways i shall get to that at the end of this video i would say this phone has really surprised me especially for that price i mean as someone who currently has a htc u12 plus a sony xperia xz2 mi mix 2s also from xiaomi and a couple of other phones i would say this is definitely looking like it's going to you know become my daily driver and i would say the main pros for the poco phone f1 definitely includes the camera the performance liquid cooling ir face uh, unlock and most importantly the price something i definitely know that needs improvement for this phone is software you know those crashes the fact that you, you cannot see your battery percentage and all of that as uh, speaker is also not the best uh, even with a dual speaker system so definitely there are some things that need improvement especially when it comes to the software now i can see why someone would not like the polycarbonate back here but it's not a con for me mostly because i really don't care most of my phone anyways i'm going to slap on a case onto it and i will never see the back anymore anyway so i really don't mind that they reduced the quality of the back because i probably will never feel it and if you are watching this video it's because you actually want to know what i feel about the phone and that is exactly what i feel now when it comes to netflix i was uh, i think i saw some articles online saying that there's no support for Windvine L1 or L2 or L3 or something. Also that I don't care about because I really don't watch Netflix on my phone. But if it's something you care about, probably, you know, that is why it's good to watch different review videos I get. Anyways, I, like I said, the price of this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what videos would you want me to make about the Poco Phone F1 again? I have, I think, the Asus uh, Zenfone 5Z. I'm yet to release that video, that video shall be coming soon. As well as the Mi A2 and you know some of the other phones. Would you like some comparisons? What would you what games would you like me to play? I mean, especially from you. Please let me know in the comments section down there below. And yes, most importantly, make sure you take care of yourself. I'm Emmanuel again. Thank you for watching. You know, I would really like if you support by leaving a like, you know, sharing this video, subscribing so you don't miss any videos in the future. But that's basically been it. I shall catch you in the next video. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.